Kia ora, the best of the weather today down across those southern parts of the country, Southland and Otago, enjoying plenty of sunshine as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Some showers that spring up across those northern parts of country, some of those fairly heavy, and you can see we'd always keep a fair bit of cloud across those northern parts of the South Island and up on towards the North Island, a bit of patchy rain and showers through there. As we head through towards the night time, we'll keep hold of more cloud across the North Island. Some clear skies down in the far south, but generally, we'll find as we head through the night time, the best of the weather will be about those inland parts of Canterbury and Otago, with more cloud pushing it back towards those eastern coasts and areas of cloud across the North Island as well, especially in towards those central areas, where we'll find some showers coming back towards us. Looking ahead into Thursday, though, we'll find it starts off relatively mild. Temperatures down at the lowest at six degrees Celsius beneath those clearer skies in Invercargill. But for many of us, the temperatures are staying in double digit digits through the night time, with lows of only 13 degrees Celsius in Auckland, a pretty mild start to Thursday. Now, through the daytime, we'll find there's plenty of dry weather across the North Island to start with, and down this eastern side of the South Island. Showers are springing up across central parts of the North Island and out towards the eastern side into Hawke's Bay and Wairapa, some of those fairly heavy and thundery. But there's wet weather, a taster of more rain to come up through that western side as we head into Friday. And that rain lasts in on Saturday as these fronts edge closer towards us. For the North Island though, on Thursday, we start off with some clearer skies across parts of Northland and Auckland. Still areas of cloud to watch out for, perhaps a little bit more bubbling up through the afternoon. But it's really these central areas which will catch the showers, developing as we head through the afternoon as that heating really starts to kick off. Perhaps one or two heavy, even thundery ones starting to develop inland and then pushing down towards the coast by the afternoon for parts of Hawke's Bay. Those are parts of the Tauro district, perhaps even towards Gisborne seeing one or two heavier showers. But for Auckland and for Wellington, plenty of dry weather, just a touch more cloud from time to time, and still pretty wild as well. Temperatures are reaching highs of around about 22 degrees Celsius in Auckland, and 25 or so, or 23, not far off. As we go on towards that eastern side over the next few days, we will find those temperatures that are reaching higher. By the time we head in towards the weekend, we could even find the odd 30 degree out towards those eastern areas. So stay tuned for those temperatures. Down on the south side, well, if you drew a line down the southern Alps to the west of that, we'll keep hold of more cloud and spells of rain through the daytime. Some heavier rain arriving later on this week, especially for parts of Westland and Fjordland. But down this eastern side, once we get rid of that early cloud on the eastern coast, it should be a fine dry and sunny looking day. Nice spells of sunshine with us as we head through the daytime for both, say, Christchurch and Dunedin as well. Not only that, it'll be staying pretty warm as well. Highs here of 25 degrees Celsius. I, know, I knew I saw 25 degrees somewhere. 25 degrees Celsius in Christchurch there. A very warm day indeed. On the other side of the hills where it's a bit cloudier and with that wet weather, temperatures are around about 17 or 18 degrees Celsius for Greymouth and Hoktika. As we go through the next few days, we'll find those fronts pushing up the south island, bringing with them heavy rainfall through Fjordland and Westland through the daytime on Friday. Now, ahead of these fronts, we'll keep hold of those northwest of these. So we still find it's uh, generally a cloudier day on the, the Friday for the South Island, but still very warm for places like Christchurch, Canterbury, and up in towards Marlborough. For the North Island, generally looking like a drier day on Friday, areas of cloud to watch out for. But again, particularly around those eastern areas, very warm as we go through the next few days. Now, with that heavy rainfall, we have already issued some heavy rain warnings through Westland, with the heaviest rainfall expected about the, uh, the ranges of Westland. We could find as much as 350 to 400 millimetres of rainfall as we go through Friday and that first half of Saturday. It's likely we'll find more watches and warnings added for those western parts of the south and perhaps even some stronger winds out towards the east as well. So well worth keeping updated with the latest forecasts. You can find all of those at metservice.com.